Okay, so, <clears throat> uh, I just want to take a second to maybe explain a little bit what I mean by new normal. So, basically what it is, is that <clears throat> when we go through something really difficult in life, no matter what it is, we change. We change. Um, with regards to the cancer journey, uh, nothing is the same after. You're, you're not the same person. So it's kind of like if, we, if we're a baseball player, I'm going to use a baseball analogy, of course. If we're a baseball player and we play baseball all our life and that's where our peers are, that's where we make our friends, that's where we learn our, our commitment um, lessons, that's where we learn dedication, and then suddenly we have an injury. And now we can't play baseball anymore. We still need those lessons and learnings in life, but we're not going to get them on the ball field anymore or, or with the team or on the road. Or Now you're going to have to find a way to get them some other way. So with the new normal, the analogy I'm going to use is that you're no longer a baseball player. Now you're a hockey player. So everything is different. Everything is different. The training's different. The, the size of the team is different. I know this is a really bad analogy, but I just want you to understand that even with like a catastrophic injury, those poor folks, like if you lose a hand or if, you, if your sight is damaged or I think some people try to get back to what they had before and you never will. It's never the same. We, we have to adapt and we have to learn new skills and we have to learn new, new stress management techniques. And so with, my, with this new normal thing that I'm, I'm trying to help you guys to understand is that it's, it's going to be a struggle for people who survive. You have to find something you love, grab a hold of it, and do it. When you're tired, stop. When you're angry, listen to some music or do whatever feeds your soul. But don't give up looking for your new way of, of life and your new way of... You're looking through life through different eyes now. The soul to your heart is different. And it's something that the whole world needs to embrace because you have an education that maybe not everybody has. So that guy in the next cubicle from you that's cranky because the guy in front of him on the way home was stuck behind a bus and just couldn't get home in time and started his supper late and you know those morning conversations at the water cooler? Not too significant after you face something in life that's difficult. So it's maybe up to you to remind that guy that things could be way worse. And even going through this whole cancer thing and treatment and in the back of my mind, I knew it could be much worse. So I just wanted to share with you guys that explain a little bit about the new normal because uh, I was trying to wrap my head around it this morning so peace love and purple socks and I'll see you again